Hi, my name is Nathan. I work here with the Standard Design Group. I'm one of the yard guys and a sales associate. I'm gonna be teaching you how to take care of your plants when it's over 100 degrees. So the first thing is make sure you know your plant's water schedule. All of these guys with our blue tags right here, those need to be watered almost every day. Um, especially in the heat, they need to be hit every day for at least 10 seconds. The biggest thing is, you see this pot right here? It doesn't have any nutrients in the soil, so it can't search for its own water. So they rely on us to give them water. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, just giving them about 10 seconds, making sure they get enough water. So your plants that need water every day may need it twice a day with this heat because it is super hot. If it's in a pot, you wanna make sure you give it, even if it's not a super whole lot every day, but just you wanna give it enough every day because it relies on you to feed it, just like you relied on your mom to feed you. So that's, that's kind of how that goes. Make sure they stay cool and you stay cool. So get yourself a rag that's gonna keep you cool. This one you can put in the freezer, it's gonna stay cold. Take a swim in the pond, whatever you gotta do to stay cool. Wear a sun hat, sunglasses protect your eyes. But the biggest thing is just make sure all your plants get hit. These guys get hit almost twice a day. In LA, we recently had some really hot weather, over 100, multiple days in a row. So this was super helpful for me personally because I realized I wasn't watering my outdoor plants enough. I am the kind of person who thinks that watering my outdoor plants once a week was enough, but in reality, they were dying of heat stroke. That's why we love to suggest California native plants because they've adapted to the climate here. The hot, dry summers, they're natural more drought tolerant than plants that are non-natives. Some say they are low maintenance, but they still deserve a good amount of watering. It just might be less watering than other non-native plants. They attract pollinators, bees, butterflies, hummingbirds, you name it. These native plants are so good for our ecosystem and your backyard as well. Of course, overwatering is a thing, but when it's super hot like it was for the last month, it's okay to err on the side of overwatering rather than letting your plants die of starvation. As for your indoor plants, giving them a little extra water never hurt. Even though we live in an air-conditioned house, it is a few degrees hotter during the day, of course, during the summer. If I was watering them once a week, now I'm doing it twice a week to the plants that look like they need a little extra love. Maybe they're closer to a window or closer to a warmer spot in the house. That's a good way to combat plants who are are dying when summer rolls around. Also keeping the house well ventilated, maybe having some fans going on, never hurt. If you have any questions about your indoor or outdoor plants, please feel free to send us a DM on our Instagram. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more plant tips and tricks and we'll see you in the next video.